Hello everybody, it's a little bit of a different video today because I'm outside in the sun. Ah. Yes, it is sunny in Harrogate. It's very nice out here. Very lovely. I've been doing some writing. Uh, this video is just a little bit of an update because I made a, a video about, about two weeks ago. I was going for a bit of a rough patch and I've been trying to sort of crawl myself back up there, sort of get myself onto a level playing field. And I've made some quite good progress, to be honest, because, you know, throughout my life, you know, as I said, like eight years of just feeling absolutely terrible, absolutely rubbish. Uh, I, I, I've never really got any support for it. Um, I've always been offered like therapy and you know, like CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, but none of it really worked at all. And that wasn't really helpful for me. And I, I, it's always been something that's sort of in my brain. It's, it's nothing that I can control. I, um, I try so hard to control it, I try so hard to deal with it. And I just, I just always feel bad, no matter what the situation is like. And, Recently, I've been to see a doctor, a new doctor in Harrogate, uh, who's actually been taking me seriously, um, which is good because a lot of doctors sort of take people seriously if they, you know, do something stupid, like if they hurt themselves badly or they, you know, try and end their life or something. And that's like the worst thing <laughs> because there's a lot of people who do succeed in that kind of thing and it's, it's sad to see that not everybody, not all doctors are willing to do, to kind of go forward with that and act on it before it happens and I've been very lucky. I've, I've recently been put on a new medication so I'm still taking the metazapine the one that I've been uh, taking for a while now, for about two years, two years and a bit, maybe. And that's got of helped a little bit. Helps a lot of my sleeping, helps a lot of my anxiety. Uh, not too much with the depression though. Although it does have some sort of serotonin action it, and it does help with that. It's not particularly the best. And um, they've, they've put me on another medication now, so they haven't taken me off it. They've, they've put me on two, which is, it sounds bad because it's, you know, it's a medication, you, you know, people associate it with, oh, you shouldn't be taking stuff to make you feel good. You should just try and work it out yourself. And like for a lot of people, yeah, that could possibly work. But for me, I've just done absolutely everything. And sadly, it just hasn't seemed to come through like me. I know everything's good, know everything's right. Logically, I know I'm doing good, I've been successful, I've done things, I'm doing well at stuff, I've got friends. Uh, but I just, I, I don't feel good about it and that was the main thing. So this, you know, sort of the dual medication treatment thing is, is not something that they, they do a lot. So I was very happy that they were actually trying to do it because I think if, if this didn't work, if this sort of dual medication thing didn't work, I would get, you know, a diagnosis of treatment resistant depression. And, uh, you know, that would, that would open a lot of alleyways for me to try new stuff, you know, new sort of medications and trialy stuff. You know, if you've seen anything on uh, nosketamine before, it's like the medical version of ketamine. Um, and that was has been shown to be very like very successful and it is still in trials so it's not available to everybody but it is available to people with that treatment resistant depression um, but this medication has been doing good for me I I'm supposed to feel the full effects get all the full benefits after about what's it like two weeks or something, just sort of build it up, two or three weeks. And whether, whether it's a placebo um, or whether it's because it is just affecting my serotonin and I am feeling better, 
I have no idea, but I'm not really too bothered about that. The best, you know, the main thing is, is that I'm good. I feel, I feel okay. I don't feel horrible all the time, which is good. I feel somewhat positive and I'm, you know, I, I feel, you know, with depression, it sort of numbs you, you, you a little bit to everything. And I was just not enjoying anything. Um, I was acting as if I am enjoying it because I know that I would. So if I was, you know, socializing, I do enjoy it, but it's more of a, it's more of an effort, but now it's, it's, ah, oh, what's that? Stupid bug, bug on my knee. Nature, disgusting. Apart from the views, look at that. Yep, so um, it's, I've, I've felt a lot of positive effects from it. I feel like I can enjoy things more. I'm enjoying interacting with people a lot more and being emotional in a positive way rather than only feeling good if I'm being emotional in a negative way, which is, you know, quite a big thing, normal thing when you're depressed because that's like the only emotion that you feel. So, um, but no, I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite good now. I'm feeling okay. Um, it's a bit of a dip and uh, I hope that the, the last sort of vloggy style um, real talk video that I did last time is not too scary for any of you. I am okay. You know, I, I've, I've given up the sort of, I don't want to call it an aspiration, but I've given up the idea of ending my life like when I was in Thailand when my granddad passed away and when uh, my nana got uh, you know progressively into her Alzheimer's and dementia and stuff and that that changed a lot for me and the whole experience changed a lot for me and I didn't really feel like I wanted to do that anymore even though it was quite it's quite tempting to and it's hard to get out of that thought pattern like oh if it all goes bad then I can just end it kind of kind of thing it's not something that most people can empathize with unless you have mental health conditions yourself it's just it's difficult it's like you don't want to live your life in pain like you want to enjoy it to some degree and for some people you just can't and no matter what you do you just don't enjoy anything enough it's not good enough to get up every day there's more negatives than positives and even the positive stuff is not good enough but yeah I'm feeling good uh, hopefully I'm gonna be doing some more stuff if you've checked out my Facebook page I've been doing a bit of acting well, I say acting I've been doing some extra work but there's quite a few up close kind of shots and stuff it's called uh, if you want to give it a Google or a Facebook or whatever, Facebook search, um, it's called the Cardboard Box 4 and it should be coming out. I think they're just about finished up filming. I only filmed for two days, uh, but it's, it's going to come up soon and um, I'm excited to just get into the media film acting sort of business now and I've got a few links and stuff. and. It's a possibility of doing a boxing movie now as well with this guy that I talked to and it's it's, it's all looking all right I just need to get a job I've applied to a lot of things but you know I'm I'm more in the mindset right now I, I was a bit stressed about not having purpose or meaning but it's the first time I've been out of education since I can remember uh, apps, yeah, so I'm just trying to enjoy it as much as possible, I guess. But I would like a job, I would like it. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody who's been support supportive of me uh, when I was, you know, in a bad state. And uh, you don't need to worry about me, I'm not going anywhere. As long as there are some people out there who need me to some degree not need me in some sort of egotistical way but as long as i'm helping a little bit and giving you some 
you know, inspiration to go on if you have mental health conditions or inspiration to work on yourself, you know, if you're if you're autistic and try and push through stuff. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys and uh, sorry about the quality of this camera, but probably the sound as well, it's going to be rubbish, but I did, I did, I did remember some people saying that you wanted to see more nature, so voila, naturalo, naturu. Yeah, I have uh, basically just been wandering up and down this field with an iPad in my hand and my shoulder is getting a bit, it's a bit tired and I'll probably look like a bit of a numpty. I think any, any vlogger looks like a bit of a numpty just like talking to a camera. Oh, who does he think it is? Anyway, yeah. Little update. Hope you guys are good. As I said, if you're going for a tough time, contact me on Facebook, my Facebook page. Send me a message. We can talk about stuff, whatever. Anything to do with autism, mental health. Are you just going for a tough time? You want some advice or something? I can, I can help you. Hopefully, give you some wise Thomas words, some Thomas talkie time. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much, guys, and I'll hopefully be putting some more more videos out soon. Got my head together now. Start recording again. So thank you a lot. Thank a lot. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.